Welcome back to another adventure with me, Rambling Rachel. In this mini-series, my friend Steph and I are taking on the Heriot's Way in the North Yorkshire Dales National Park. It's the first time I've ever completed a trail in Yorkshire. The Heriot Way is recommended to be completed over four days. It is a 52 mile walk through the heart of the Yorkshire Dales, inspired by a walk first described by James Heriot, the famous Dales vet. It takes in some of the best valley and moorland scenery England has to offer. If you like what you see, I would recommend buying the guidebook. I'll leave the information in the description box below. Myself and Steph, we started from Aysgarth National Park Centre at Aysgarth Falls. Parking was £17.50 for the week. One good thing about this trail is you can start pretty much anywhere from any of the major attractions, villages or towns along the route. It does offer that flexibility. Myself and Steph, we camped for three nights and we spent one night in a youth hostel. If camping isn't your thing, that's absolutely fine. There's plenty of alternative forms of accommodation along the route as well, which is described in the guidebook. The first of many pinch gates or sheep squeezes as I call them. Let's try and get through this wearing this big backpack. I think I should like approach it at speed and that might change the law of physics and make it easier. This is sheep squeeze five. They're getting narrower and that was quite elegantly done <laughs> It's now the middle of July and it has been a really wet, windy month, not like the summer we had hoped for. May and June were quite nice, but the last couple of weeks we've seen torrential rain. And as you can see, the river is quite high and running faster than it probably would normally. But the next two days, we haven't got any rain forecast, which is a blessing, but Wednesday, Thursday might be a different story. church tower in the distance it's probably about a 15 minute walk from where we are it's been absolutely wonderful passing through the the green pastures tracing the river we only had one frisky herd of cows to navigate but that was rather uneventful in the end thankfully and it's been mostly flat so as go after Asrig, about seven miles would you say Steph? Yeah, six, six. six to seven miles plenty of pinch gates to get through um, but we're here, we're enjoying it. We're not following the sections as they are in the guidebook. Reason being is day one, we have to take into account our travel time and where I live in the bottom part of the East Midlands, Northamptonshire, it's about a four and a half hour drive to get up to North Yorkshire. Steph lives a little bit further up north, but it's still quite a long drive one way or another. So half a day has been driving, half a day has been walking. Tomorrow we'll be Asrig, onto Hawes, up to the third highest mountain in Yorkshire, Great Shunner Fell. And then our end destination, we're not sure yet. We'll see how we go. So you'll have to stay tuned for that one. But yeah, can you see the church behind me? 
popping out from behind the trees. <laughs> uh, I'll see you there anyway. We've made it to our campsite at the Crown Inn. It costs £10 a night to stay here. And there is running water and the toilet in the shed behind me. The toilet is very clean and hygienic, I have checked. And guess what? Steph and I have the whole campsite to ourselves. It's only a small one, but it serves a purpose for one night. And we've got glorious views over the dales. And just look behind me. That's what I'm gonna wake up to tomorrow morning those wonderful views over the green fields and the hills. <laughs> right, you know what's what I'm going to say next. I said it last time. It's wigwam time! Don't ask. It's been a long day. And there's Steph's humble abode. Awesome. Should we get our bedding sorted and then head to the pub? That is day one, over and done with. A short day and the shortest day on the trail probably somewhere between about seven and eight miles in total. We went to the King's Arms Hotel for dinner, had fish and chips and sampled some of the local ale, which was lovely. Um, for the rest of the week, it probably will be hydrated camping meals. So we're gonna make the most of it while we can. It's only about quarter past nine, but we're pretty tired. We did do quite a lot of driving today just to get up here. So that does take it out of you as well. Tomorrow, we're probably going to aim to head towards Hawes, up over Great Shunner Fell, which is the third highest mountain in Yorkshire, and then possibly on to Mooka, where we may stay at a campsite or possibly wild camp. We're not sure yet. We'll see how the day turns out. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the morning. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch up with you then. Good night, everybody. Mm -hmm.